that this might be my favorite <laughs> DIY that you have ever done. I really appreciate your excitement for this. I really do. Show everybody how beautiful I'm gonna it is. model, don't mind if I do. So there's a million versions you guys can do. This one here, if you would believe it, is just splattered Mod Podge that then gets glittered. So you've done splatter paint, but have you splatter glittered? Never. Probably not. And it looks so chic It's so elegant. Right, because it just picks up just a little bit of sparkle, a little bit. You can be as colorful, as sort of minimal as you want. To me, this is something that I could wear all the time, holiday or just Monday. Or even a wedding, you're like a fairy princess. <laughs> Thank you. You know what I mean? And, and the fact that it's just Mod Podge. Isn't that wild? That's what I mean. And, and yeah. the skirts are very inexpensive. You can find them online. I, they're, they're available everywhere. Just look, type in tool skirt. If you, most of them are gonna come this length, sort of a T-length skirt. The good news is that with um, tool, you don't need to hem it. So this was one that I worked on and I messed up. And so I cut <laughs> off the bottom. And you can see, I just cut it. So now it'll be a knee length skirt and it's just a blunt cut right at the bottom. So Cut them to your custom length. That's really all you gotta do. And by the way, we can get them in small sizes and make this as a fun project for our little girls outside. I love that fabric too. paint. How fun is that? Okay. All right, we are gonna get start started yeah. and show all of you how to do this. Super simple. First, we have to set up our workspace. Yes. Now, this is the, the most important thing. You only want to do this to the outermost layer of tool. Okay. Most tool skirts will have two layers of tool, maybe three, and a lining. Pull that out. You can see we've done that. Our other lining and our second layer of tulle is out of our way and okay. we only have our outer layer. Now, when you're doing this for real at home, this is how I recommend setting it up. This is me working in my backyard. <clears throat> I put down a drop cloth and I opened up the full circle of the skirt so that all at once I'm able to do it as opposed to needing to move it constantly right. every few sort of sections. Okay. So if you can set it up like that, that's how you're gonna do it. But for now, we're just gonna use the table. Okay, because this is all the space we have. Yeah. So. Now, I think we should start with the fabric paint first. I, I think that's great. Okay, so sorry. what you want fabric paint for sure. Okay. Metallic paint is really awesome. And all you're gonna do is dip in and I would bring your, your bottle of paint with you so that you don't drip and now just create a stroke. Oh. Just whatever strokes. Make sure there's whatever plenty of paint there though so you yep. can put the glitter on and it. And what's cool is that you're gonna see those brush strokes, right? So like if you see how it like fades off, that's gonna dry really cool. And when that's on top of something solid black, like the double layer of tool and the lining, it's gonna really, really pop. pop. Now, there's a couple options right here. Well, there's actually one note I really wanna make. We're doing this on paper, but you wanna do this on a drop cloth of some sort because we're gonna let this dry for just a bit, maybe 20 minutes or so, but then we're gonna lift it up to move it. And if you let it dry on paper, it could actually rip the paper with it oh and be stuck on the backside. Okay, so that's so why you wanna do it. Okay, so cloth is important. Exactly. Okay. Now, you could either leave this as is, just all these really cool metallic strokes, which will just be painted, or you could dust in a teeny bit of glitter, just a little on these, oh. just so that you end up having like that extra little sparkle. Okay, Anywhere that the not. paint is wet will hold on to it. Anywhere that the tool skirt is dry will just shake off later. Oh my so goodness. I'm doing a super light amount on this because we're gonna move on to our super glitzy version. You move on now to the Mod Podge. Mod and I will Podge. continue to finish my my uh, I work of art over here. Your vibage is is really. I'm really feeling this. Yeah, I yeah. might have to wear this on you, our Christmas show. You might need to to continue going. <laughs> okay, so for this one over here that I did, um, for the multiple colored one, basically what you want to do is add in a ton of different strokes of Mod Podge and then just choose your glitter. So it'll save you time. So I'll go here. I'll do a line here. I'll do a line here. I'll do one here. And I did maybe 10 at a time when I was working on this one. Now, I take my glitter and right on top of it, I just glitter this guy right here. Oh, wow. Now, that one's done. I say, okay, what would look nice next to my fuchsia? I think orange would be gorgeous. So I'll dribble this on. That is but so vibrant. It's super colorful. And right now, obviously, it looks really like almost um, cloudy because we've got a big dollop of it. But when I shake off the excess, everything that's not on the Mod Podge will come shaking off. And that's how you end up getting what looks like glitter paint strokes. Look at how pretty Look that, that looks. You oh see my that? gosh. Oh my it's God. so gorgeous. Really so beautiful. for mine, for this guy right here, I laid the skirt out and I took my Mod Podge and I just threw down to splatter. If you've ever splattered, you know the deal, you just take it and you're yeah. like, just keep going and, and then, then go on top of it and drop your glitter. And once it sits for about 25 minutes, okay. 
That's when you want to then lift it up. It'll still be slightly wet, so lift it carefully and move it somewhere else to dry, or it will glue to the surface underneath. Okay, you don't want to do that. Can you hang it on a hanger? Absolutely, hang it on a hanger, lay it on a, just a, another protected surface, but that's it. You want to give it that time to dry so that it doesn't um, mess up on itself. But other than that, have at it. Any design, so polka dots, fun. stars, whatever you want. This has brought me so much joy. I love you, Orly <laughs> Shani, and I love all of the creative ideas and that awesome brain of Thank yours. Thank you. For full instructions, you all head on over to hallmarkchannel.com. This is gonna be really beautiful when I'm finished. So fun.